You're standing by a river, and you can't help but think about the tiny germs that are hiding in plain sight. Did you know that cholera, a disease caused by a tiny germ, can spread through contaminated water, causing diarrhea that can kill within hours? It's a silent killer that's often overlooked because it's invisible to the naked eye. As you look around, you realize that cholera is a waterborne disease that affects millions worldwide. It's a significant public health concern, and yet, it's often underestimated because of its seemingly slow onset. The reality is, the disease spreads rapidly through contaminated water sources, including rivers, lakes, and wells. In fact, a single drop of contaminated water can contain millions of cholera germs, making it a potent threat to entire communities. I remember when my father fell ill with cholera. It was a chaotic moment, and I had to act fast to save him. But what I want you to remember is that cholera doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone, anywhere, and at any time. The key to preventing its spread is knowledge and action. By understanding the risks and taking simple precautions, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from this deadly disease. You've just witnessed how quickly cholera can spread through your village, but here's the thing, not everyone who swallows cholera germs will get sick, but they can still spread the disease to others. This realization hit me hard as I watched my father struggle to recover. I knew I had to act fast to save not just my father, but also my entire community. To make water safe, we used a simple yet effective method, filtering it through cloth and boiling it for one minute. This was a turning point for me, as I saw firsthand how something as basic as clean water could make all the difference. I was determined to spread this knowledge to my fellow villagers. We made a special drink to help my father, and I was amazed at how quickly he started to feel better. As I continued to learn, I realized the importance of washing hands with soap and safe water after using the toilet and before eating. This was a game changer for my community as we significantly reduced the spread of the disease. I began to teach my neighbors how to protect themselves, and it wasn't long before our village started to transform. We made our water safe, and with it, our community became healthier. But the journey to recovery wasn't just about me. It was about empowering my community to take control of their health. And that's exactly what we did. But how did our village transform from being a hotbed of cholera to a model of health and hygiene? I'm glad you're eager to find out. Let's take a closer look at the key strategies that helped us turn things around. First, we implemented a simple yet effective solution, using chlorine drops to make water safe. We added a few drops to the water and waited half an hour before drinking it. This made all the difference, as our water was no longer contaminated with cholera germs. Next, we dug latrines far from the river to prevent contamination. We made sure to keep them at least 30 meters away from the water source, which significantly reduced the risk of cholera spreading. Another crucial step was emphasizing the importance of washing hands with soap and safe water before eating. We made sure to wash our hands thoroughly, especially after using the toilet. This habit became a part of our daily routine, and it significantly reduced the spread of the disease. By following these simple steps, we were able to prevent cholera outbreaks in our village. Today, our village is cholera-free, thanks to the collective efforts of our community members who learned to take action to protect themselves and their loved ones.